Hello, in this video, we will discuss about the problem 6 in a zoo. So, you have to find out how many chicks will be there on the nth day. Okay. You have to find the number of chicks which were present on the nth day. Understand the problem more clearly. Okay. So, you can see what it is saying you that so on day 1, let's say there is only one chick. On day 2, what will happen is that this one chick will give birth to two more chicks. So, there will be basically three chicks. One, two, three. Now, these three chicks will give birth to two more chicks. Means on day 3, it will have something uh, nine chicks. You can see the number of chicks are just multiplying by 3. This is how the number of chicks are increasing. But there is one more thing that on day 6 of a chick, it will expire. Means the lifespan of a single chick is 6 days only. So basically, that is fine. That is fine that uh, let's say that on day n minus 1, there are let's say k chicks. So on day n, there will be 3 into k chicks. That is completely fine. That is completely fine. But the thing is that chick which will be born on before day n minus k, the chick which will born before day n minus k will be die. Means we have to only count those chicks which are basically born in the last six days. Because all the chicks which are born before the six days will be dying. So what you will do is that you will see that the, the day one, or you can see you can see the chick one. The chick one which is already present in the zoo. That chick will basically die on the day 6. It will die on the day 6. So what we will do? We will take a DP array. Let's call it DP array. Or let's name it expire array. Okay? Because the chicks are expiring. Let's take an expire array. Where the value of 6 will be 1. What does this mean? This means that the chick which will which is basically which is born on day one or basically which is already present in a zoo will expire on day six it means basically on day six one chick will expire similarly if we check that how many ticks will expire on day let's say uh, day seven so on day seven the, the chicks which will be on day two will be expired and as we as we know on day two there were some three chicks but out of the three chicks, one is already expired, which was this one. So two chicks were there. So basically on expired, there will be two chicks. It will be two chicks. So this is what we have to do. This is what we have to do. Okay. Means basically, basically what it is saying is that if a chick, let's say, if a chick is, birth, is taking born, let's say, that C number of chicks take birth, on day 8th. If C number of chicks are taking birth on ith day, then on i plus 6th day, this C number of chicks will die. So if on ith day, C chicks are taking birth, so on i plus 6th six, six day, this C chicks will die. This is the particular case. What we will do? Let's, let's move towards the code part. What we will do? That First of all, we will take our count and basically we will do one more thing that we will take a vector of long long int only that will be let's say name expires and the size will be 50 because the constants are till 50. You can see, sorry, the constants are till 50 only. You can see here. They are till 35, but we will take for because it will be plus 6, so it will be 50. Now, the value of expires 6 will be 1. So, the value of expires 6 will be 1. So the expires 6 will be 1. Okay, means that, that what, what, what does it mean? You can see one thing that the chick which will, the chick which will take birth on first or you can say zero day, let's call it zero day. So it will expire on six day. So I am writing expire six is equal to one. Because that is what it is. Because that is what it is. 
Now initially we'll make our long long int c and t is equal to one. Okay, is equal to one. means because initially there was only one check. Now what I will do? I will take a for loop from day one. This is basically which is on day zero. Day zero means when there is only one check which is already present in the house in in the zoo. Okay. Now what I will do that I will basically subtract the checks which are expiring on that day. Obviously, so in from this count I will first subtract do those checks which are basically expiring on that day. Now what I will do as I told you that if there are k number of checks on a particular day. So next day there will be three into k checks means basically two into k checks are increasing. If there are c and t number of checks in a day, there will be two into c and t more checks. Why? Because each check is giving birth to two more checks. And similarly, the expires of i plus six, as I have told you, as I have told you that if on i a day c checks are taking birth, so on i plus six day c checks will basically Die. So if on this day two into c and t six are taking birth, so on i plus six day they will die also. So I am making the expire of i plus six to two into c and t, and this is how our work will work like. And at the last one we return c and t. Compile it. Okay. So I think that uh, there is something. Okay. So here we have to make up to n only up to n because uh, uh, we are considering it as zero from zero bias now, so yeah, now it's fine. I think so let's submit it. Okay, okay. So I think that we are having some doubts. Some uh, doubts are here. Let me just check that thing. Uh, okay, okay. So there is a mistake which we have done. We have first made this count plus is equal to two count. Okay, so but if this is what we are doing, so this value of count will be changed. So what we will do? We will perform this operation after assigning it to the expires. Now I think it should work. It should work now. That was the very small mistake that we will be doing. Now I hope that this should work, and we have got the right answer. This is how you can see that we have solved this particular problem. If we talk about the time complexity and space complexity for this particular program, you can see that we have taken expires array. So that's space complexity will be order of n, and also time complexity will also be order of n because we have taken a loop till n. This is the time and space complexity. I hope you have liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment down if you have any doubt. You can share this video with your friends and subscribe to this amazing, beautiful channel. Thank you.